all right y'all so we locking back in with crypto crew university we're gonna be checking out this I, obviously um i'm a huge fan of the work that he does the technical analysis he does he's been spot on he's been calling a lot of things so yeah i'm definitely getting educated staying in tune with his content um he's going to be talking about the bitcoin flash dump and is it over um and is it about to get much worse um so yeah we're gonna get all the information that we need to stay updated on the state of the market how bitcoin's looking how everything's looking because one thing that we do know is that this time is different We've been seeing some differences that's been popping up and happening. So um, let's see what it all means. Let's jump into it, y'all. Last week, Bitcoin was sitting pretty, above 73,000. The market, very bullish. Everybody looking for much higher numbers, 100,000, 200,000. When is it going to happen? The market kept rising up and up and up. Everybody was at the edge of their seats, waiting for what's happening next. But then we found some major red flags in the market. We saw some things starting to pan out that could spell disaster for Bitcoin. And we put out this video, roll the clip. Attention crypto cryptocurrency investors and traders there is a major correction coming to the crypto space that will take the world by storm and surprise most but it's going to present one of the best buying opportunities of this bull run if you've missed out so far right after we put out that video bitcoin fell and crashed from 73,000 all the way down to 66,000 leaving everybody wondering what's going to happen next is this dump that that Bitcoin saw last week, just a small signal of something bigger that's about to happen. Is that crash going to continue in a much stronger and faster momentum? Or is this market about to turn back bullish? That's the million dollar question. That's what we're gonna uncover based on the facts and the charts right now. Let's get it. So here we are, Bitcoin US dollar index. We are on the two week chart. We have price action above with a very critical moving average, which we'll get to in a moment and down below the star of the show. I'll go into the settings. We are here at the 13 SMA, the length five down here as well. Put these settings on with the style and we are on the two week chart and you'll have it look precisely like this. This indicator right here is untouchable. It combines the three best indicators on planet Earth that I personally use to trade in and out of Bitcoin and all altcoins. It takes those three indicators, combines them into one. This indicator is incredible. And what it tells us is that we're on top of this yellow channel here, which tells us we're very, very overbought. How overbought, you ask? Well, Bitcoin has been at this level or higher four other times. Meaning in Bitcoin's 14 year history, we are the fifth most overbought of Bitcoin's entire history. Just plain facts, not my opinion, not some wild prediction, just bona fide facts, plain and simple. You basically wanna buy when we're in this bottom yellow zone, right? If you had bought when we're in this bottom zone, you would have bought near the bottom, near the bottom here, near the bottom here, near the bottom here. You think you want to change that mindset and start to think about taking profits when we're in this top zone. If you ask why, if you just look at any of the other data points that we've been this high, there are four of them. Three of them were the absolute market top. Market top 2011, market top 2013, and market top 2017, and market top 2021. All four tops happened right inside of this zone. The only outlier that we've been this high or higher in terms of overbought and it not be the absolute top of the market, one data point right here 2013 at this market cycle pre-top this wasn't the top it crashed down about 75 percent back to our moving average and then continued on its way it needed to flush out because it was ridiculously overextended that was the most overextended bitcoin has ever been in its history of the 14 years so it needed a monumental correction to flush out and create some critical market structure and head back to its absolute all-time high in that market cycle what we also notice about this yellow channel is Bitcoin gets into this yellow channel precisely two times in every single market cycle. We have one time that we enter in here that's not the top, and then the next time we enter is the top. Case in point, 2013, we entered two times, one here and one here. The first was not the top, the second was the top. Then we fast forward, 2017, we entered inside this yellow channel precisely two times, one for the market cycle top, and the second one 
was at the market cycle top. Fast forward to the next cycle and they say, oh, this time is different, Steve. We had COVID and we had this and we had that. We still entered two times, one before the market cycle top and one at the market cycle top. And here we are at our first time entering this zone of our bull run. So we could say not with absolute certainty, but with probability that Bitcoin is not at its market cycle top, that we will enter a second time and that will be the market cycle top. So we do have a point of concern that we are far overextended, but we were looking for something very specific in the videos that we posted last week. Obviously we're overextended. That's a point of concern. You want to be fearful when others are greedy and you ask, well, how do we know if others are greedy? Well, number one, we're the most overbought area of Bitcoin's entire history. There's only been four data points that are worse than that. Number two, you go to the to the fear and greed index and we are quite literally in extreme greed, not up for debate. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. Mm. This is not my opinion. This is not what I- So it looks like based on the charts, it looks like we could see some some great opportunities to buy coming up here, depending on how much lower we go, how, how if it keeps going low, which I hope, I hope we can get some more time to buy and more, come on, come on you know what I'm saying? Pack the bags a little bit more. I definitely want to get some, some better entries and, and some good, you know, some good entries on some stuff. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it stays low. I hope to happen. This is not some wild prediction. We don't make prediction videos. We talk about factual evidence in the charts. We are in extreme greed, not up for debate. We reached a high of 90 in over six years in the data that we have in front of us, we've only been at that level or higher two times in the past six years. This was the 14K top and this was our absolute top. Those are the only data points we have that we've been this in extreme greed at this level. So when you think about it, you say, okay, now I understand. We're very, very overbought. The market is very, very overextended. That's why there's some correction that's brewing. Now I get it. When is this correction gonna happen? There are two things I want you to look for. Number one, we can say with high probability that every time Bitcoin has entered this yellow area and then the, its line started to curve down, there was no saving it. Entered this area, curve down, huge correction. Entered this yellow area and this line started to curve down, huge correction. There was no saving it. Every time that we had a curvature down, that was our signal that this is the larger correction. Now, yes, last week we had a 10% correction, cool. But these larger corrections happen every single market cycle and sometimes multiple, multiple times, right? If you look at this market cycle of 2015 to the 2017 top, this is a textbook market cycle. We had multiple 30% corrections, 35% corrections, 40% corrections, and sometimes even a bit higher. But multiple, multiple times, it's very healthy in the bull run, but you have to look for the key signs. And again, once we entered this area, and corrected, it was back to this blue line. Every time that we corrected, it was back to the blue line. Even this anomaly here where they said, oh, this time is different, Steve. This is the highest overbought. Yeah, well, we corrected right to the blue line then as well. So we should have in our minds where this blue line is. And we should have in our minds that it is a possibility that a larger correction could be brewing. But the million dollar question is when? Number one, we're going to look for some curvature. This chart closes in about six days from now. We're starting to see some very early signs of some curvature. But again, this candle hasn't confirmed yet. So we cannot say with more certainty than, hey, we've got some curvature looking right now, but we still have six days for it to close and become factual evidence. This chart, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar index monthly chart. Now we're looking at this monthly view of the stochastic RSI. Stochastic RSI, our momentum. When our momentum is right now at 100, we're looking for a cross down. Why? Anytime we had any of these crosses, cross down, big correction. Cross down here, another big correction. Cross down here, another big correction. Cross down here, another correction. And cross down here, absolute market top. Anytime we saw a correction on the monthly scale, of our momentum, it was a correction, plain and simple. We've got a lot of data points in front of us. All of them are the exact same. Look at here, cross down, big correction, cross down, big correction. It happens every single time. And we have had our momentum topped out now for a period of days. How long you ask? It's been 91 days of our momentum, literally at 100, which is wild. The longest time in history is here at
21 days back in uh, literally the top of the market back in 2021 at the top. That's when we had our overextended momentum that long at this level. So what are we looking for? A cross down. When does this chart close? At the end of the month. Now let's look at our next one. This will give us a visual representation, a bit different angle. We're on the Bitcoin US dollar index. We're on the weekly chart. And what we see happening here with our red, you see this red arrow? One, two, three, four, five, six, six times we've been at this level that we're at now or higher in the weekly RSI. All right. If you look closely at it, what we've done recently, we're starting to see some early curvature in the RSI, but we had basically a double top. This top from February 21 is the exact level that we got at now. So here's what we're looking at. Structurally, we're looking good. The market still has some power behind it. We talked about that key candle in yesterday's video. That's going to be a telltale sign. And we've got extreme greed happening. Whenever there's extreme greed, I want you to be fearful. It's really hard to do really hard to go against the herd it's easy to go against the herd the herd is is still incredibly bullish basically their thesis is this time is different we had an etf bullish million dollar Bitcoin. It's very simple thesis. You do not want to agree with the majority of people. If your thesis is what I just said, you're in the majority. There's no way around it. That's the herd. The herd chants the same thing. You want to do the opposite of the herd. When they are incredibly greedy, I want you to be fearful. It's very hard to do, but I want you to start to change that mindset. You can do it. But we've got some things that are panning out in the charts. We need to remain level-headed. Right now, it's still more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. Those of you that sold at 73 and bought back in at 66, that's the safest thing. Now, if you want a strategy to use, I'll give you a strategy to use. If this is a bigger correction and we get you know, a 20% correction, a 30%, a 40%, maybe even a 50% correction. Here is a simple, clean, and easy strategy that you can use, not financial advice. If the market, let's say you have $100 to spend. We'll keep it really simple. You have $100 and you're like, man, Steve, I got $100. How do I spend this $100 on Bitcoin in a smart way? What do I do? So if the market were to correct 15 or 20%, you can put in 20% of that $100, meaning you put in $20 and then you be patient. If the market corrects further between 20 and 30%, then you can take 35% of that money, which means 35 more dollars you're able to invest. If the market goes between 20 and 30% of a correction. Now you're, you're like, well, what about that remaining money? What, what do we do with that remaining money? Well, the remaining money is used if we correct more than 30% then you're able, 30 to 50%, you're able to put in the rest of the money. That way, you dollar cost average in a strategic way, simple, clean, and clear, and you maximize on the way down because this, by all means, is not the market cycle top. So if we do have a correction, we will come back up. We will be back around this territory in the future. So it's the best opportunity to buy, and you wanna keep it simple and clean. You don't wanna guess. You wanna have these rules defined now, right now, defined find these rules. How much do you have to invest? And then break down the percentages and then follow the strategy. And that will lead you to a lot more success than the one strategy you're using now, which is basically just flip a coin, hope for the best, you know, kind of buy when somebody says it and then just ride the wave. And when you feel like selling, you can get a, you get a feeling and you sell, then the market always goes against you. But this strategy that I gave you, is simple, clean, clear, and it will work. Not financial advice. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. This bull that was actually a very good strategy to to dollar cost average in in a strategic way. Like, cause usually you just buy whenever you get something, put some in every week or every day or whatever, whatever your strategy is. But yeah, this is a very clean way to to do it and to have some type of strategy behind what you're doing. So I might actually, you know, use that one. I like that because I've been thinking about how I'm going to enter into some things and what I'm going to get into and stuff like that, um, what I'm going to put some more money behind. And yeah, I'm, I got my eyes on a few things, but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to take that, take some of that advice. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.